Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction, Coach. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, today we back with a RDC World One reaction. Now, these guys, bro. Like I told y'all before, I think it was right before the NBA playoffs started. I was like, I'm, I'm ready for RDC World One, bro, because they drop these like NBA skits every year, and they it's pure comedy. You feel me? Now, for the past couple years, of course, they were mainly doing the how. LeBron was in the locker room after this win or after this this uh, loss and all that. But obviously, the Lakers are out of the playoffs. Your boy's a LeBron fan. That's tough, but it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, though, bro. I think Phoenix is going is gonna to win it. Um, not just because they beat L.A., but I don't know. I just feel like they are. Obviously, after game one yesterday, the Suns is looking crazy. Devin Booker went off for 40. Um, that was tough, coach. You feel me? 40 points, my nigga. And they like, I didn't understand why they not stopping the nigga mid range. They, they were giving him the mid range and like the nigga was still I like he was going crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but we here today for our RDC World One skit. And it's titled Doc Rivers in the locker room after losing game seven to the Hawks. Now that's tough. Cause they didn't even get to the to the conference finals. At least last year, I don't know the year before last, the Sixers at least made it to the conference finals, but they lost in Game Seven at the buzzer to uh, Kawhi and the Raptors. Obviously, now it's tough because this year, bro, Ben Simmons. I like I didn't even get to see the full game, but I'll keep it a buck. I did not expect Atlanta to be in the conference finals at all. But Trey Young doing his thing. Even though in game seven, he shot like five for 17 or something, they still won the game. That's tough. Um, Doc Rivers, that's tough, my nigga. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, we did, the last RDC World 1 reaction we did was to the how LeBron was in the locker room after they lost in the first round to the Suns. If y'all haven't seen that, a link will be up there. Be sure to go check that out. Um, but as far as Doc Rivers, I know they dropped one off last year after the Clippers lost in the bubble and then they blew the whole three, one lead and all that. That one was pure comedy as well. If y'all haven't seen it, I'll drop the link up there, bro. But I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what the hell is talking about, bro. This should be pure comedy. We got two minutes, 30 seconds. Hold on. I'm tripping, bro. I need to turn my volume up for y'all. I'm tripping. All right. I don't do this time foolery, my nigga. Let's go. As soon as nigga do a reaction, not a Wi-Fi, just. Let's talk Jeez, cash out. All right, bro. But yeah, hey, y'all get down. Actually, yeah, before we hop into this, y'all let me know who y'all got winning it or at least getting to the finals. Like I said, I think Phoenix can actually do it. It would be crazy if. Atlanta somehow beats Milwaukee and gets to the finals. I don't see that happening, but that would be wild. But regardless, I, I still think Phoenix is probably going to win it all. But either way, it is what it is. Let's, let's see what it's talking about. Look, I'm going to be honest. I think I picked the wrong career. <laughs> and y'all can find me for saying this. But I don't think I like the game of basketball anymore. Because of the 2016 number one draft pick, Ben Simmons. <laughs> now, Ben Simmons, that's tough. That's tough. That nigga shot. I think they say he had five points. 13 assists, though. Eight rebounds, but five points, Ben Simmons. Like, if you're not going to shoot, at least get to the rack, my guy. But it was one play, like, I'm watching it live, and they were talking about this play all day where he had the wide-open dunker layup. But I seen it live, and I'm like, my nigga dunks the ball. Like, why are you passing that? Like, yeah, your man's got fouled, and he going to the free throw line for two, but... Nigga, you have a wide open dunk or layup. What are you talking like? Dunk the ball, my nigga. But somebody said afterwards, Ben Simmons said he thought that the guy who he had spun on, I think it was Gallinard, some somebody who was behind him, he thought was going to like tip it basically if he tried to go up. Nigga, dunk the ball, Ben Simmons. We don't want to hear that, man. Let's put the ball up, my guy. It's tough. What you did out there was nothing short of a miracle. I need you to stand up, and I'm going to ask you a question, Ben. Can I read off your stats? 
<laughs> now to all the other players, please do not react when I'm reading Ben's stats off. Somebody bring me Ben's stats. Ben Simmons played 36 minutes and had five points. He shot four times. Damn, I ain't know. Don't that. do it. Don't react, y'all. <laughs> what is the stance over here? Look at my man's stance. <laughs> Why is fist balled up? They got you mad. <laughs> These niggas standing like some 2K players, my nigga. Don't do it. Don't react, y'all. <clears throat> and last game, he shot six times. And the game before that, he shot four times again. Ben, I have a question for you. Can you please answer this? Who on the Hawks is scaring you? Is it Trey Young? Exactly. Is it Gallinari? <laughs> Who is it, Ben? Are you scared of the ball? What is it? Because you went under the goal and Trey Young was right there and you passed the ball off. Dunk on that little... <laughs> dunk on his little ass. What are you doing? You are 6'10", Ben. <laughs> he like 5'11 at best. They stat patting him. Dunk on him. And listen, MB, I'm going to be honest. If I was you, I would just start looking for another team. Right, just look start. for try to sell ticks, uh... Try, try some Dallas or something. Somebody could use you. But guess what, though? You, the Sixers don't deserve you no more. They don't. This team here, they don't want to play all the time. It's do or die here. Like, you got to drop 30 every game. I know it's tiring. I know it's tiring. So, so I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm going to help call coaches if I need to. Uh, what else do you need me to do? I'm sick of this shit. Every time I'm with a good organization, that organization starts pulling some bullshit. I don't really believe in the Illuminati or no shit like that, but I don't know. I might give it some belief now. <laughs> no cap, though. Doc Rivers, now it is crazy. They say he's coached him, him. I mean, his career in coaching, he's blown like three or four, three, one leads in the playoffs. That's tough. Now, that does somewhat have to do with the coaching, but it's like the same time, it's like, God, Lee, can I catch a break, my nigga? He went to L.A. They were supposed to get at least to a conference finals or at least two two one finals. I don't think they ever went to a to a conference championship. And they had a damn near gotten, I mean, not a guy squad, but they had a team that was pri prepped and primed to get at least to a conference finals, my nigga. Let a, if not that, or... Two two of finals, but if not that, at least a conference final. And they didn't get to to either one. Not one time. That's tough. Now you go to Philly, who the year before you got there, because Doc Rivers, I think he just signed there this year, right? Yeah, because they blew the the Clippers blew the three one lead last year. So the Sixers didn't get to the conference finals last year, if I'm not mistaken. But either even if they did, the year before that they got to the conference finals and lost to the Raptors. So they it was right there. You bring in Doc Rivers to kind of clean up some of this stuff and we're out in the second round. That's tough. I might, because this 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 don't make no sense. I don't see how this keep happening to me. But guess what? I ain't going to lose no more sleep over it because y'all seen it here first. Uh, ben Simmons, five points, four shots. George Hill, I ain't forgot about your 21 minutes, three points. <laughs> now, I see everybody wanted to knock LeBron James. I don't want to just bring LeBron up, but... George Hill played on the Cavaliers, and y'all, well, I mean, George Hill was on the, no, my nigga, George Hill, it's George Hill, come on now, let's not act like this is George Hill in his prime, but now when he goes to another team and he's playing like that, I'm sure there's some 76ers fans who would call him out, like, man, George Hill ain't even, man, but hey, y'all ain't had that energy when he wasn't showing up in damn Cleveland, it was just, well, LeBron ain't get it done, that's tough, keep that same energy. That game wasn't on me, and I don't stand on that. <laughs> I'm out. I'm weak, bro. All right, guys. He don't. Hold on. Let me let me put his instrumental back up. Hey, we dropped off a reaction to that ball. If I want to, that money's tough, coach. Y'all be sure to check it out if y'all ain't seen it. Link will be up there. But yeah, man, that's tough. 76 is just lost. Now I'm expecting RDC to continue coming with these with these skits. Um, even though the main players are out, like KD and the daggone Nets lost. We didn't even talk about that, but now that's tough to me, bro. That is tough because KD was going off 40 something points. But my only thing is, I mean, you went off for 40, but then they said he went 0 for 6 in overtime. And they lost to the Bucks. That's tough. 
<clears throat> and the only thing I'll say is, what do y'all do when LeBron does it? When LeBron goes off for 50 points, but his team loses because the because the role players ain't showing up and doing what they're supposed to do. Nobody ever said, well, hey, man, this person didn't show up, so we're not going to, you know what I'm saying, just put it all on LeBron. He did have 51 points. Or when he averaged a triple-double, a 35-point triple-double in the finals and lost in six because he didn't have Kyrie, K-Love. I mean, we're not going to. Hey, man, it is what it is, right? LeBron should be able to do that with Matthew Dellavedova and Timothy Mozgov. He should be able to do that. KD loses. Well, I mean, Harden was hurt, though. I mean, Hard, Harden still... Now, Harden was playing foolishness. I think he shot like 5 for 20-something, but he had 22 points. I mean, I ain't going to say he went crazy, but if you give me LeBron James in that finals where he averaged a 35-point triple-double and you tell me Kyrie or K-Love is going to play half hurt, and still give him 20 something points. I'll take that. <laughs> like I'll take that over the over the cast he had. What do you mean? You feel me? Like I I'll take our chances over that any day of the week versus them not being on the court at all and you having your second best player averaging 10 points. Come on, my guy. What are you talking about here, but it is what it is, bro. This I I feel like this year is really just putting it into perspective of how unrealistic the standards were that people held LeBron to, which didn't even make sense because you I never held anybody else to these standards, but for some reason you held LeBron to it. I guess, like, y'all called Michael Jordan the best player in the world. Y'all didn't hold him to the standard that he had to win before he had anybody on his team. I guess. You feel me? But it is what it is, bro. The skit was, uh, I mean, this was mildly funny. I feel like they've, they've definitely dropped funnier skits. Um, but that is wild for the 76ers, bro. That y'all lost to the daggone Hawks, my nigga. The Hawks. Not that the Hawks ain't balling. But Trey Young shot five for something, bro. Y'all should be able to win that in a game seven at your crib. That's tough. Doc Rivers going to have to figure something out. I don't know if they need to get rid of Ben Simmons. I heard a whole bunch of people talking about that today. I mean, realistically, you probably should. Unless he's going to somehow dedicate himself to getting the shot better. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... They need to figure out something, bro. That's tough, though. But, like I said, I got the Suns winning it. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about the skit. Also, give me y'all predictions on the rest of these playoffs. Um, Here's what it is, though, bro. It is what it is, man. We on the road to 20K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little bit. Catch you on the next video.